Hello, I'm Toby, and I'm here to present Greek mythology. Start off. When speaking about Greek mythology, the first thing that comes to mind is existence of several gods, each doing different things. You probably have heard the name of the biggest god, our master boss, Zeus. Well, those are the Olympian gods you have heard of. But the question is what was going on before them? How did they come to existence in the first place? Well, what brings you here? I have a problem. Your wife is annoying? Yes, but that's not it. Your brothers are stupid? Yes, but... Your children are troublesome? Yes, very much. But that's not why I'm here. You're having extramarital affairs? What? What is that? Having affairs uh, outside marriage. Yes, but I have a lot of fun. No need discussing that. Oh, I'm glad that's good. Then what is your problem? I'm having an existential crisis. How so? I don't know where I came from. Why I'm here. Have you read Hesiod's Theogony? What? First came the chasm, and then brought breast to the earth. Secure seat forever of all the immortals who occupy the peak of snowy Olympus. The misty Tartara in a remote recess of the broad path earth. And Eros, the most handsome among the immortal gods, dissolver of flesh who overcomes the reason and purpose in the breasts of all gods and old men. In Theogony, Hesiod gives the details of how all the things came to existence. So, in the beginning, there is chasm or chaos. It can be also translated as an abyss. This abyss might have a personality itself, although we can say for sure. And out of the abyss, there comes the first primordial deities, Gaia, Tartarus, and Eros. Gaia is Mother Earth and is the first to come into existence. Tartarus is the underworld, where the dead will eventually go. Eros is desire, or more specifically, sexual desire. Now it is from these beings that other deities appear. Chaos gives birth to Night and Erebus, which is the darkness and shadow of the underworld. Then comes Ether and Day. And to be honest, it is not very clear who is the father of who. Push! 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 I'm trying! Try harder! Push! 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 Oh, there comes the baby! Give it to me! Who told you you're the father? You're not even a man! Now Gaia gives birth to Uranus, which is the sky. Pontus representing the sea and the mountains. Now Gaia mates with Uranus, his son, and there go their twelve children, known as the Titans. They will be the main natural elements, like the sun and the moon. Uranus is not much into baby, so he pushes back every single one of them that is about to come out of the womb. This is quite irritating for Gaia, so she helps her youngest son, Cronus, to go and steal his father's genitalia. I know it is pretty graphic here, but sure we can make it more family friendly. Mmm, it's yummy. Thanks, honey. Bon appetit, baby. What the hell are you doing? Oh, something was coming out of your body. Yes, they are my babies. What are you doing? Ah, they are just annoying. I don't like babies. Keep them in there. I'm not a bloody closet. They want to come out. Shut up. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh shit. Honey, where's my dildo? Your baby is playing with it. Damn. Don't blame me, at least I tried. Now Cronus marries, I would rather say mates, with his sister, Rhea. And from them the Olympian gods are born. While it is not easy as it looks, Cronus, like his father, despises his kids. And his method is different. Instead of pushing them back into the womb of their mom, he eats them up. Rhea is annoyed and when the last child Zeus is born, she gives a stone to Cronus instead and hides Zeus someplace else. Is the baby ready? Just a minute. Don't overcook it. I'm not overcooking the baby. Don't overcook it. It is losing its purpose. You want your baby now? 
Bring it over here. You want it now? I said bring it over here. Now we are happy? 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 Yeah, happy. Shit. Just ate a stone. Zeus, who is now hidden somewhere, matures and comes back and overthrows his father. Thereby freeing his five brothers and sisters, Hera, Hestia, Demeter, Poseidon, and Hades. Together they form the Olympians. From this alliance, the clash of the titans starts. On one side we have Zeus and his siblings, and on the other Cronus and his army. This clash lasts for over 10 years and guess which side is triumphant? Yes, Zeus and his siblings. The Olympians come out victorious. How dare you disrespect your father? How dare you eat your kid? How dare you sleep with your sister? Like father, like son. Hee <laughs> hee. Shit, that was new. How dare you question my decisions? How dare you question my answers? What? What? Nothing. So, hmm. who's gonna draw? Whoever has the balls, I guess. Damn, that was deep. And this is how the reign of Olympian gods started. A new era where there is more interaction between humans and the gods. Until then, goodbye.